Hello from Denmark, I'm Miguel and this is the Epic Heathen Podcast. Hi everyone, I am Francesco from Italy and you are listening to the Moon Sorrow Epic Heathen Podcast. Hey, I'm Sasan from the United States. You're listening to the Epic Heathen Podcast. I'm not sure why, but you are. Greetings from Finland. My name is Alexi and you're listening to Epic Heathen Podcast. Hey guys, I'm Thomas from France. You're listening to the Epic Heathen Podcast and have a nice listen. And I am Abel from Hungary. Grillo demo on the internet. Uh, this is indeed the Epic Heathen Podcast, the new podcast about Moon Sorrow, but not so new anymore. What is new is the YouTube channel, the YouTube version of it. Uh, so what is the podcast about? Obviously Moon Sorrow. We are talking about all the albums, analyzing them in depth, talking about the lyrics, the music, the compositional aspect, uh, the covers, the evolution, everything we can think of. Some of us have been following, well, all of us have been following the band for many years, but some of us have seen them a lot of times live. Some of us have researched a bit about the history, read a lot of interviews. Some of us are musicians, not me, but anyway, some of uh, the others are really good at that. So we have different uh, points of view and also different approaches to, to Munzer Rock music. So, well, I think we, the conversations we had so far were pretty interesting. You can hear two, I think, so far. The one about Sudanuni and the one about Boy Master should be out when this video is out. Now, this YouTube channel, because YouTube is obviously a video platform, we thought that it can contain something more than just the episodes. The episodes will be here for sure in this channel. The same episodes that you will find in podcast platforms, all the Spotify, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Amazon Audible and all of those will be also on YouTube with a static image. But additionally, because we are recording every conversation in video, we thought of uh, putting fragments up on YouTube. Now, why not the whole podcast? For two reasons. One, it doesn't really have a lot of video value to watch three hours of people talking without showing anything. And secondly, the episodes that are uploaded are edited, meaning that we remove all the uh, uh, all the hesitations, all the stutterings that all of us do when talking spontaneously. And I also add little fragments of songs and things like this. So in, in general, it's a lot more comfortable to, to listen to the edited version. However, sometimes we go sideways a bit, we touch other topics perhaps, which are of course always related, and there can be interesting five minute fragments that can be separated from the whole thing, and perhaps that will be nice to, to have separately on YouTube. Additionally to that, we may record videos specifically for YouTube, not for the podcast, something with video value. For example, we already have one uh, showing the whole discography. I'm um, showing my collection, which is most of the items that they uh, released, and that will be on YouTube as well. And we have a couple of ideas already, and whatever comes up, we don't know exactly, but you know, having the platform allows us to have ideas and put them there. The periodicity is a bit random. It's, uh, like every one or two months there will be a new episode up because well it takes long to to edit and of course all of us have jobs and whatnot and for this reason you may want to subscribe and i recommend you to subscribe to one of the podcast pla podcast platforms uh, all of them are linked in the description or youtube you can subscribe to youtube as well but if you use youtube regularly you probably know that it doesn't always notify you of new episodes so because you're going to be 
spaced between each other, then probably uh, a podcast platform is, is better for subscribing. Do you like my t-shirt? Unfortunately, if you choose to listen to the episodes on YouTube, you will have advertisements because we insert little uh, snippets of music, which is copyrighted, which then activates the YouTube alarms and well, you know the story. So we don't get any money from this. I mean, we don't have realistically a big enough audience for that and it's fine. We do it for the fun. In the other videos we upload, which are not the edited episodes, those will not have music, shouldn't have any advertisements, but yeah, again, I encourage you to use a podcast platform. That's pretty much it. If you want to contact us, you can leave a comment here. You can find me specifically on the unofficial Moonsorrow biography Facebook page. Most of us are in the Moonsorrow fans Facebook group as well. And that's it. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching and see you in the platforms. It's a new episode up. So what?